Hey everyone! In Cypress version 12, they introduced the concept of queries, which are commands that can be safely retried. The biggest difference from previous versions was that you can write a chain of queries, and let's say if you have an assertion, let's say should be equal to profile, then even if a button has a different caption, it keeps retrying, getting the element, retrying, invoke, retrying, invoke, and then getting the text and comparing it to profile. So even if a button was initially completely different, at some point this whole query will be retried and yes, the text will be profile. Now, unfortunately, this changed how the aliases are evaluated. So let's say here we'll save a value as an alias, let's say caption. And later we can say si get this alias and what do you think it will be? Well, it should be equal to profile, right? Cypress version 12 by default switch the type of alias to be dynamic or reevaluated. So later when you grab it, it literally goes back and instead of getting the alias, runs the whole chain of commands again. But that's not what you expect, right? In previous versions of Cypress, the static value of alias was never changed. Once you evaluate and once you run as Alice name, that's the value you would have. So let's say right here, you would say as caption and you would expect that caption to be wherever it was at that moment. Okay, so if you want the old behavior, you can provide an option to the Alice and you can say type static, okay? So in this case, it will never change. And look, it still is loading, loading, loading. Okay, so we can confirm that the button has changed, right, now has profile, and yet the caption Alice still has the initial text loading, like right here. Okay, so here's an action, the button changes, but the Alice is still static and stays unchanged. Okay, the new type of Alice is called the query. Okay and the old behavior is called static.